It's time. It's been a long time coming. And now you guys finally get what you deserve. The untold stories of Jake H. Kicks. So, before I do what I was saying, before I start talking about where things went wrong as me, I'm going to show you a couple things that I got just to ease the mood and make it more of a regular video. So, first thing, they're wearing this a ton, or these a ton, it is this pair of Walter, or these Walter Van Buren Dunk, uh, these are the white cloud sneakers is what they're called. I bought these from Elk Hill, $525 retail, but give me like mad inches. Makes me a big tall guy. All right, well, another Walter pickup. These Walter Autumn Winter 19 uh, sweatshorts, size large with the all over print that he was using with that straight drip. What, bitch? Big Walter dude on the tag. Um, Too big for me, but I do like those things. All right, fuck it, I ain't pick up nothing else. So, to do this untold story of the, I mean Jake, I'm going to pull up different photos on the timeline and describe to you where my mind was at at that point, okay? But, to be real, we'll start it out from where things stopped being normal. So we'll start it out at Nice Shoes Young Man. So, as you can see, I was a big chunky boy. Sophomore year, when I made that video. I was a sophomore going into junior year. Or it was the end of my sophomore year. And at that point, I was just losing like all care I had for YouTube and sneakers, and I was just smoking a bunch of weed. If I, I mean, that video, I smoked before I filmed, and then I smoked at, when I edited it, and it was like right when I started smoking. And I just like thought it was the funniest thing ever. I mean, it's still funny. I think that shit's hilarious, but I wasn't taking nothing serious. So yeah, I thought it wasn't even cool to make videos. So I was just doing it like. Or the first time that I went away and stopped posting videos was when I went away to sleepaway camp. I went to the sleepaway camp. I went to the sleepaway camp, uh, camp up in the Poconos. Nah, but I went to this sleepaway camp where you work out and they give you a very like strict diet. You work out all day. Everything's about being outside and the environment and bettering yourself so that's what I did for that summer I don't know mindset stop smoking weed I got rid of my phone um, but it was sweet there it was a campground so there was zip lines there was fat bitches every morning every morning good morning played by Kanye that's how I woke up over the loudspeakers but there was no phone besides like weekly contacts to your family so I went to fat camp. That's the best way to describe it is fat camp. Cause I was fat and it was for fat camp. So if you've ever seen like heavyweights, that's where I was. Post fat camp Jake was a different thing. He was starting to get, he thought he was all, all cool shit. Little Chanel ring he would wear on his pinky. He was sad as shit, but he was still focused on working out. That year I uploaded like a couple vlogs to, a vlog and a couple of pickup videos. I remember the DC Heat vlog when he came down here. Those videos were definitely more focused on clothes, not shoes. Started smoking again when I came back from camp, which probably wasn't the best thing for me because I was good and motivated without it while I was away. If smoking did me one thing good when I came back from fat camp, it inspired me to grow out the bowl cut. And that was one of the best eras of Jake, as you can see here. If you don't remember Bull Cut Jake, you're straight up missing out. I mean, there's videos of Bull Cut Jake, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, junior year, made it through the year, still sad, but I'm chilling. Senior year, so senior year, I was starting to struggle more and more with my anxiety, social and just like regular stuff, stressing me out. But, um, so I started taking medications and going to therapy. And eventually I dropped out of school because I couldn't go to school because I was so anxious about what was going on. I was paranoid about everything. At that point, I was also losing weight and getting really skinny. I don't know if it was due to the medication or due to depression, but I just wasn't eating. But from there, when I dropped out, went into a different schooling program, which was made just especially for kids with like special, I don't know, with needs, special needs almost or anxiety. I would do that at two to five 
like from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. five days a week I'm pretty sure so this school was gonna take me two years although I was a senior it was gonna take me two years to graduate doing this like I was going to school two to five it was three hour days it was sweet but summer 2018 came this year fucked me over big time um so like the beginning of the summer of 2018 I was smoking one night and I just I, I tried to go I had a panic attack so bad that everyone was thinking I was having a seizure because my legs were shaking so much and my body was shaking so much but I was straight I was good I didn't lose consciousness but it was alarming alarming enough for me to not want to smoke again so I quit smoking then later on in that same week I passed out and seized up again and tightened up and just like jittered all over the place in my living room so after that and that, that I don't really know the cause for to be honest because I, I wasn't baked I wasn't on anything I just seized up from there like my anxiety got super bad I was so scared of fucking everything I I wouldn't even leave the house I was like I don't know, I was scared of my own bodily functions, I was scared of every move, I was scared to wake up in the morning. It just everything made me so anxious. At that point, I just wanted to make sure that everything I was doing for my body was like the best thing I could be doing, so I started working out every day, like extreme work, taking care of my body the way that I thought was the best, so face masking and working out every day, eating the healthiest things I could find. At that point, I also got rid of my phone because it caused too much anxiety and drama. I just didn't want to deal with the outside world. So summer of 2018, if you tried to contact me, I was gone. Sorry about that. But I was at lots of therapy appointments, lots of doctor's appointments all over the place. And the problem was like taking me to these places, I couldn't go in because my heart rate would get up so bad and my anxiety was so bad that like it was hard to get me outside of the door of the house. So by the end of the summer, I went away on one trip and I smoked a little bit on that trip and I started feeling a little bit better. I started thinking I could smoke again. Towards the end of the summer and beginning of the fall, I got my med card. So yeah, I got my medical card at the end, end of the summer, beginning of the fall, which I also turned on my phone then and started trying to reconnect with some of my old friends. Japanese fit legend at this point in my life of fall 2018. Um, I don't know, that's when I started paying attention to measurements. But in fall of 2018, my schooling got shut down, so I didn't have that place to go anymore for those for the next year. So after that, I had to transfer into like adult education, which is just night classes two times a week, going still to get my diploma. But it's it's weak. It's weak. And it was hard to get me in there. I was still pretty anxious. But I had my medical card, so things were getting better. I was finding different ways to cope. Now, winter of 2019, I met Lily. I became the most comfortable god ever. Started posting again. I My style began to just be what was comfortable for me. Whether or not, I, like, I don't even really... I know it looks good, but like, I don't, I would just wear what I wanted to wear. But yeah, I started posting way more at that time because I started getting a little bit more confident. Spring 2019, this is when the What, the, what Happened to Jake H Kicks Thick Jake Pickups video came out, which I must apologize for because that was uncalled for to leave you guys hanging. Now, I hope that this video wasn't just rushed through. This is weird to talk about. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't, none of my friends even know what happened to me in the last couple of years. So like, I'm just rushing through it. I am rushing through it. Started selling gear through the videos, trying to see what I could do with like, I don't know, cause I started, at that point I was wearing mainly just Japanese clothes based on the what fit me the best. So I wanted to start selling based off of that so with all of the requests I was getting over the years and the extra confidence thought that I would make a video 
push myself to get back on YouTube. I mean, that did pretty well. It got 3,000 views. I'm pretty surprised by that, to be honest. I do appreciate everybody that watched it. I'm sorry that I clickbaited you. Hopefully you don't think that this is clickbait. Since the Thick Jake Pickos video, I've pretty much just been uploading the same content. Just vlogs, Minecraft, pickups. This one's weird, but I think it's well deserved. Hmm. Did I make this feel too awkward? Did I even look at the camera once when I spoke? I'm sorry. If this was weird, I'm sorry. I ain't gonna, I, I'm not gonna respond to any questions about what medications I took and what, I don't know, eh, maybe I will, fuck. Leave comments and questions, cause I, there's definitely things I can help you with. I've been through it, a little bit, eh. If you wanna leave a comment asking me about things, I don't know, do it. Best thing you can do, take a paper bag <laughs> Not. Nah, I ain't even gonna put that in the video, no. That's where I am. It is now 2020. I haven't done anything since then, since 2019. And I still write 2018 every time I write the date. So you could say, my life's going great. <laughs>